Hi everyone, in this video, I will guide you how you can automate email by using Python and Apache Airflow. So let's start. So this is one email and this one is the second email. I want to send an email from this email to that email. So let's start how you can do it. So first of all, uh, those who are new to this video, let's complete previous videos so you can get more ideas. So previous videos I completed how you can create folder structures and how you can do a automation DAG. So in this video I will guide you how you can create a email email helper. By using that email helper you can uh, send an email from one person to another person. So here I am creating one file. You can give any name. I am giving one convenient name email helper dot py you can give uh, any name as you want so after giving that one in python there is a module for sending email it's a default module no need to install that one that is smtplib okay so by using this one we can send an email to one person to another person so let's start to create one function we can you can give any function so i'm giving one function name send you can give any uh, function name and for exception handling here i'm using a uh, try block and for uh, that exception if you want to print then you can uh, handle through accept block okay So you can give like this way and as keyword we are using for what uh, we are printing that value accession value in another value. So I will show you, show you how you can do. I am giving any instead of this you can give any name okay that is not a issue. So here I am giving print and that exception I want to print if in case any exception I am getting. Okay so this is some uh, initial step those who watched my previous videos they know these things currently I am uh, starting step we can assign a variable and same uh, module name we can give here after that we need to assign that SMTP ok so in here we need to give that SMTP for gmail and that port name so as you know before uh, this is the default one so smtp is email.com ok then we need to give that port name so that port name it is a default port so you can find from google also this one then second step we want to uh, communicate with smtp lib to tcp where we can uh, send email communication ok so that is a method you could see here so you can use this one ok and second step we need that uh, login credential so we can give login here so inside login we need to give that username so i am giving the username and then we need to give password so we will fill it no issue let it complete the structure then we can uh, start our implementation okay and uh, for sending any email at least we need a uh, subject so I am giving subject like uh, you can give anything as you want so for testing I am giving uh, testing uh, if you want to give any other subject name then you can give that one that is not a issue so inside subject we need body I am giving one name so you can give any name ok I am giving like uh, success testing yeah you can give anything okay testing success so this is subject and this is body okay this is subject and body then we need to assign this subject and body within a message so here I am typing message so in message we need to give one subject so I am giving one string you can give uh, in, instead here if you are giving anything that is not a issue so I am passing two argument so one argument for subject and second one for that body ok so here 
its default method in python is format so by using format you can assign that subject name so i am giving subject name so whatever variable we assigned here and second step we need to call this body so whatever uh, body message if you want to send so this is two two major step so after done this one we need to send the email right so whom we need to send so that one there is a default method is there so here you can see that method name is send mail so inside send mail we need to add that uh, sender name second one we need to add uh, a receiver name and third one whatever message we want to send this thing we need to do so for try block we are using for success scenario so i'm just printing here success okay so this is for success scenario if in case if it is failure or any exception then that scenario i am adding one thing here failure okay so this is the thing we need to do so here we created method and try block we added here so now we want to add one username and password correct uh, if you want to send this email to this email or uh, if you want to sub this one then that is not a issue currently i am sending one email from uh, this name so you can take any name as you want so for testing purpose i am taking one name and give this name here and this password right so if you are giving plain text like whatever your uh, password then it will not work so it will show like uh, that is failure so i will show you for your uh, confirmation so here i am giving this name and the second name i am giving a different email id so due to some secret reason google uh, changed their policy so i will show you for your confirmation this method we assigned here so must be we need to call then only it will call right so here i am giving send this method okay so here i am right click and uh, just run this program so here you could you could see it is executing this uh, email helper file and is throwing expression like uh, username password not accepted and here we are getting failure it's exception scenario that's why i am getting failure so we need what actually so instead of this uh, password we need to use a password of the specific email so how you can do so you need to go to that specific email then click that logo here you could see there is a option manage your google account click that option so after clicking that option left side you could see one option security after clicking this one here you can see there is a option two step verification so here we need to click that one below click that get started so here it will ask your password your plain password so let me give that uh, plain password so after giving this password it will ask one number for otp let me give any one num my number and i'm uh, click next so it will send one otp to your number so you can give that one so here i am giving the otp so after giving this one it will print like uh, it worked and uh, turn on two step verification so i am giving turn on so here you could see it's verified and it is on so how you can see just click back here you could see previously we are unable to see this option a password after on this two step verification we could see this option okay and it is on so we need this password 
if you have to click this option again here we need to enter your email id password whatever your email id you are using you can give that password so after entering that password here you could see it is asking application so i am giving mail and here i am giving uh, windows computer then i am generating that password so it will create one password for your gmail id so copy this one and that password i am giving here and save it so before sending any email let me show you this is my primary email where i want to send a email and this is my secondary email where i need to receive so currently i don't have any email here and i didn't send any email from here okay this is for your confirmation so let me save this file control s right click then again uh, execute that program so here you could see now it is showing success so let it confirm so here i am clicking send let me refresh this one so here you could see it is sending one email to this specific person but the uh, scenario is this uh, subject and message body it is joined okay so we can need, we need to rectify that one and here we are getting the message also so we need this uh, testing success as a or uh, that message body so how you can do so you need to come to this code and in this code you need to break this one you need to down so you need, uh, there is a uh, command is there slash n slash n so it will consider as a it is a body means one is your uh, this is your subject it will consider as a subject and second one it will consider as a body text so let it save then right click and i'm uh, sending this file again and triggering this file so it is success so we need to again send this one we need to refresh okay let me refresh here okay this is recipient we need to refresh this uh, primary one so here you could see it is taking some time click next yeah so now you can see i am getting that testing success as a body and this is the subject part so let me see in inbox also so here you can see this is the email the recipient email and we are getting that testing success in here also so this is the thing like uh, i created as a bot so next video we can see how we can automate this bot by using python operator so those who are watching this video first time right so please uh, click the i button then you can get like uh, previous videos one by one then you can get more ideas so thank you so much